So the second uh, most common kind of category that patients fit into if you rule out BPPV um, is kind of these more vague symptoms. So the case said, you know, it doesn't, it's not really specifically triggered by specific things. It just kind of can come on when she's moving or even when she's sitting still. Um, so when it, it's kind of those vague symptoms, I'm not thinking BPPV, I'm kind of thinking this other category of uh, vestibular neuritis. So I always ask in my history if someone has been sick recently or if they feel like they've been sick or have had sinus pain or pressure um, because that's the most common cause of uh, vestibular neuritis is some type of virus that attacked the inner ear. Um, so usually acutely they'll be, um, if we catch them in time, they'll be very symptomatic with um, dizziness and imbalance, but a lot of times by the time they come to see us, it's been a couple days or a week or so, and the virus probably is gone, but they just kind of feel these lingering symptoms. Um, so that's, that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking about with um, those type of patients. Um, one of the tests that um, I like to do um, after you, you know, screen their um, ocular motor system, um, is I kind of combine the VOR test and the head thrust test together. Um, it's just a nice, easy way to kind of quickly see how that uh, vestibular system is functioning. So when I do that, I, I sit in front of the patient, I tell them that they're gonna look at my nose and I'm gonna grab your head, okay? And I'm just gonna gently move it side to side at first and I just want you to um, just keep looking at my nose and tell me if you get any symptoms, okay? So I, I tilt their head forward just about 30 degrees because that's the plane the vestibular system is in. I just look at the nose. I start off pretty slow, okay? So I want to just see so that they get comfortable with me, that they trust me moving their head. So I'm just moving. To really test the VOR, you have to go back and forth at a speed of like one hertz, I think it is. So it's like one, 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 like that. If you go too slow, it's not that um, sensitive of a test. So yeah, so this is just the VOR. So I'm saying, okay, she can do it, right? She's not that symptomatic. If they're okay with this, to do the head thrust or head impulse test, you go a little faster and you quickly stop to one side and see if their eyes stayed on your nose or if, it had to, if they lost it and had to go back. And then you want it to be a surprise because you don't want them to anticipate it so it's just kind of like a quick you can kind of randomly do it and I usually I do it a couple of times just to kind of see um, to see if it's consistent and it happens every time they turn to the right or every time they turn to the left